The esports industry is one of the fastest growing industries in this day and age. It is no surprise seeing some of your favorite games like Call of Duty, Apex Legends, Valorant and of course Fortnite being played on a highly competitive level with even huge cash prices involved. Luckily, esports is not only limited to the big AAA titles mentioned earlier, but we also see lots of mobile games taking part in esports. In today's video, we will be looking at how close Bullet Echo is to actually taking part in esports and attracting highly competitive players. And without wasting any time, let's get straight into the video. I'll be looking at four things that need to be done to Bullet Echo to make it possible for the game to take part in esports. And the first requirement here, which is quite obvious, is custom matches or private lobbies. Without this one feature, it most definitely is not possible to have esports tournaments involving Bullet Echo anytime soon. Another thing that goes hand in hand with custom matches is the ability to spectate players while they play. The replays of all matches should also be accessible afterwards, at least for 48 hours. The other important feature which is absolutely necessary is balance. Looking at the current state of the game, we can see that the SMG heroes are really strong compared to the rest of the heroes in the game and this lack of balance will not allow for a competitive scene to materialize. So for that reason, lots of balance changes are gonna be needed. We also have to consider that the game just is not popular enough to warrant a spot on the esports scene. Esports greatly depends on the viewership and popularity of a game. The more players a game has, the more hype and attention a tournament will get. One way that Bullet Echo can be introduced to more players is by getting the biggest content creators in mobile gaming to play the game and introduce it to their viewers. This would greatly increase the player base and would be a huge positive for Bullet Echo. Our fourth and final point here is related to the previous one. Attracting new players is important, but keeping those players around is equally as important. Bullet Echo currently has a serious issue when it comes to progression within the game. Players who spend a lot of money have the ability to max out all their heroes and equipment in a very short time while those who don't pay anything have to grind for many months or even years to achieve the same level of progression. This causes free-to-play players to feel hopeless and quit playing after a few weeks, and it seriously hurts the game. In my opinion, I think the amount of power that can be obtained by paying money should be significantly reduced. Money should mostly be used to obtain cosmetics like skins, stickers, and known to get much stronger than everyone else. With these four changes, I think Bullet Echo can get closer to taking part in esports and attracting highly competitive players. Feel free to leave any other suggestions you might have in the comments, and if you found value in this video, here is a few other videos you might like. 